It's true. What happened? It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're going to kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but... Oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Ha! Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Get him, lads. I want that blade. Let's get this over with. Stay down! That's enough. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. one who saw off the bandits, aren't you? Martha was singing your praises. Ah, it takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Oh, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vicerine. <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Thank you again, and, uh, take care of yourself.
could make a fortune. So. Otto barking at his lot earlier. Clive! You're all right! I thought you might be... Oh. Clive, was it? Fancy giving us a hand? Here you go. So... We're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? That depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. <laughs> so you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <sighs> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. 
Well? Don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. I'll tell my turnips for supper. Brother, did you see? <gasps> Here. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Bet you'd like to see what's behind that door, wouldn't you? You're not on my watch. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Ah, oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up, and little wonder. This'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right, I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes.
a whole day on the line and they're still not dry. The shad's all salted and smoked. I'll have you know, Mal in the village entry is no small task. Must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Don't tell me. Turn him to something. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been sick?
Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotand Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> Northreach. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel. But that was north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south.
Have you no other bearers? Those two look rather... used. Oh, ever do they get that colour? Are you gonna buy something or not? With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Welcome, good... Ah. Back off, Brandy. Can't you see you're the customer? Fresh fish, all from the sea of grace this very morning. You there, fancy a drop of the Empire's finest? And what can I do for you? Like a customer who knows what he wants. And a fine, fine day to you. I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course... His master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Not getting any fresher. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. 
But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth! That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Seen you around the Vale of late? And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder? It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Start here. If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. 
No, you are always welcome here at the bay. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing, then? Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison, did you ever see him? Of Course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something. That's the day done then. Heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil, then. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. If I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. I need other spot. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, 
and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. suffer to keep your granaries full. That's enough for today, Branded. Tolerant as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Oi, don't touch anything. If that's what you want. Thanks for nothing. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Ah, oh, if even a grain is missing. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? A trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, 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 why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however. And for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. 
But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatien. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. He said her name was Tatien. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which... I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I 
I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. It was a message. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? I see, my dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatia. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. <laughs>